All right, as you can see, we have a 2008 um, Mercedes-Benz GL450. We had a little bit of a situation with the seat belt um, as we were detailing it, and the seat came down and broke the latch. So uh, the seat belt latch, we're only gonna show you how we plastic weld. Uh, this be a great opportunity on a practical application to show how you can save yourself a lot of money. This snapped in three pieces, so and here are some of the supplies. You're going to need some alcohol for prep. Uh, that's just isopropyl alcohol. A glue stick to apply some of the silicone, some of the adhesive. A couple Q-tips and a weller. This is just a basic uh, a soldering iron that you could use. There's a bunch of different ways to plastic weld, but that's what we've chose to use here. Very simple, uh, easy to use. The, the soldering iron costs like $8, so very inexpensive. Kind of show you how we do it. Um, just put the two pieces together and you want to make three spot welds just like you're doing a regular welding on a car or metal purposes. Just do three spot welds to hold the piece in place. And then you will go through and actually melt the two pieces of plastic together um, creating a bond for it. And then we'll go through and show you how to do some glazing and fill in the crack and get it all ready for paint. Now this next item is just some glazing putty. This is made by Dicom. You get a bunch of different suppliers. Um, this is what we're going to use to fill the crack on the back side. There's a little bit of a scratch, so we're just going to use that to kind of fill it in. And then we're just going to take some, uh, probably 120 grit, I think is what we're using, to sand that smooth. Take that down, and then we're going to go ahead and tape it up. All right, now we've taped it up. Uh, next step is to spray some black texture on here to just kind of give it a, a really nice overspray look. So keep your spray can about 16 inches away just to give yourself a nice texture because you don't want it really smooth, shiny finish because the other ones are not like that. So just give yourself a nice texture and let it dry. Now we've actually replaced this seat belt with a brand new one. I just want to kind of show you the difference this is the one we bought from the factory. As you can see, it's brand new. Doesn't look bad at all. And this is the one that we repaired. We went ahead and put a new latch in here for our client, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys how to do some plastic welding and you can get a good idea of what you can do. It's really easy. It took about two hours to do and save yourself. Well, I think it was about $155 for that latch. So anyway, hope that helps you guys out there and uh, please comment and feel free to send me an email. Thanks.